Hello and welcome to Spirit Sherpa, the show that helps and encourages you on your journey to unlock your magic mojo. I'm Joshua Ratto and your co-host. If you're new to this work, please start with episode 1. Intermediate students should start with episode 98. Advanced students can start with episode 200. With me as always to share her insights and wisdom is the spirit doctor, Kelly Sparta. What's going on, Kelly? Hey, Josh. So, uh, did I tell you what happened last week? Did I tell you about John Rice Davies? Yeah, yeah, we talked about that in the beginning of the last one. That was that's okay. quite an experience. Yeah, well, it's, it's still resonating for me. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, that's a pretty big confirmation on the identity shift you're currently making. So, yeah, you know, little details. Yeah, little details. So, yeah. um, we we also did a cacao ceremony. Did we talk about that? I can't remember. No, 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 we haven't. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, there's a a, a a maker of chocolate, fine chocolates here in in uh, Panama uh, that is called Quetzal Chocolates, or Ch Quetzal Cacao, rather. And um, Quetzal, by the way, is a bird here in Panama. And so Quetzal Cacao is, is fine chocolates. And they were having this midsummer, or not midsummer, um, equinox, uh, spring equinox uh, celebration. And they did a cacao ceremony as part of it, but they also served us appetizers and drinks and dinner and you know all in the jungle and and it was uh, most beautiful table I've ever seen in my life covered in flowers that I've never seen before in my life and they had all these beautiful fruits and 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 things that are native to the land that they were on and uh, the the cacao ceremony was amazing the cacao itself was the best cacao I've ever had in a cacao ceremony so I have um, I have already placed the order because we will be doing a cacao ceremony in uh, at the retreat in November, uh, the Adventures in Energetics retreat. So if you guys are on the fence about thinking about that, we're doing ritual every single night of the retreat. And so we will be doing a cacao ceremony now that I have a great supplier for that uh, as one of our rituals in that retreat. So if you're interested, go to kellysparta.com forward slash retreat and you can find out more about that uh, it's going to be a lot of fun Josh is going to be there and his partner Cassie's going to be there and a lot of people in our programs are going to be there so we're, we're, we're going to have a great time I'm super excited about it so um, but let's get on to our program shall we uh, yeah we you have, know uh, we have uh Jen yeah. with us today, right? From the Soul Traveler podcast. Is that correct, Jen? Yeah. That so uh, I, I was doing a little little digging before the show, and I see that you were a, a quantum healing practitioner. That's a, that's exciting. I, you know, we were talking a little bit before the show, and I was telling you a little bit about my experience in quantum healing, um, having my first um, session done last October, and how transformative it was. So. I'll, can't wait to hear about your process. Yes, I look forward to sharing all about quantum hypnosis with you guys and with all of your listeners today. Thank you for having me yeah, on the show. So, yeah, great to have you here, Jen. Why don't you give our listeners a little background on you and, and tell us about, you know, who you are, how you came to be in this space, you know, just give us a sense of, of what your journey's been. Yeah, thank you so much for asking. Um, a little bit about me, a little bit about my background. Um, growing up, uh, childhood, definitely it was not a walk in the park, <laughs> which uh, I think a lot of people who do this type of work, um, we have very similar um, backgrounds. And I had a lot of unprocessed trauma that I was working with and dealing with as a young adult. Um, much of my childhood was surrounded by substance abuse, um, being carried to drug houses and people doing heroin in front of me. and. Um, a pretty pretty traumatic uh, you know things for a child to see and growing up I just kind of shoved it all down and it was just like you know this is what happens this is just life you keep trucking forward moving forward and as a young adult entering the workforce I was really really ambitious and I had built this story for myself I told myself and really convinced myself if I just climb the corporate ladder and get this big deal job, you know, I'm gonna, everything's going to be great. And I'm going to be so happy and life's going to be fabulous. And so 
I just kept working and working and I was on burnout mode, but I just kept going and going. And I climbed the corporate ladder to senior executive levels and was working in the banking industry. And I looked around and I was absolutely miserable with my life. Um, instead of being happy and everything coming true that I had convinced and told myself, I was so depressed I couldn't get out of bed on Sundays. I would spend my entire weekends crying in bed. I was at the lowest point of my life. Uh, I would drive to work every day and pour vodka in my coffee, and then I would sit out front of my job and cry sometimes for 30 to 45 minutes um, because of how unhappy I was. And I was also being heavily bullied in the workplace, which you don't think that in um, a corporate environment like that, that you would be bullied, but I was. I, I would walk into meetings and people would call me stupid under their breath and they would laugh at me. And it's hard enough delivering a presentation in a boardroom, but when you have people like rolling their eyes at you and calling you names, it was just adding on to a lot of the anxieties. So I found myself searching searching for anything, for something that we, where I could just push out like escape hatch and, and get out. And that is actually when I found a YouTube video that forever changed my life. It was Dolores Cannon. And so if anyone knows who she is or for people who don't oh, yeah. know who she is, uh, she is the original founder of what is called QHHT, which is Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique. And it's just crazy to think that one YouTube video <laughs> changed my life, but it truly did. Uh, she was talking about how with the um, quantum hypnosis that we could connect into the quantum realm, which is the time and place uh, beyond this existence where we are at, where anything can basically happen. We connect with the subconscious mind and we can heal our body. Uh, we can explore past lives. We get all the answers that we're looking for um, in our life, really. The subconscious mind can come through and answer all of the questions for you. And I was just absolutely amazed. I, I knew I had to have a session right away. And so I actually went for a session, and my subconscious higher self in my session told me that I was going to become a practitioner, and that I was here, told me my life purpose, and that I was here to change people's lives by sharing my story and helping others. So I am on a mission, you guys. <laughs> I'm on a mission to help as many people as I can. Um, I love talking about quantum hypnosis, and um, now it's a little bit about who I am and why I do the work that I do. Well, I'm so glad that we could participate in your mission and getting the word out and letting you tell your story. So that's awesome. Thank you. I love that. That's that's part of my piece here is helping other people who are in this work to be able to do their work in a bigger way. So I'm super excited about that. So tell us what QHHT is. Mm -hmm. Yes. So QHHT, as I mentioned earlier, stands for Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique. So the technique at its core, the original method that Dolores Cannon teaches, it's a multifaceted type of a session. A typical average session can last anywhere, depending on the practitioner and you know what's meant to come through for you at the time you have the session. I would say anywhere from three to five hours. Um, each session is very Ooh, unique. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It is a healing experience. It's an all-day healing journey. So you need to show the heck up. <laughs> and what I mean by that wow. is, when you book your session, it's important that that you come ready to talk, because. As a practitioner, like if you can't talk to me and tell me everything, your subconscious is sure the heck isn't going to talk to me under hypnosis. So you really need to, you know, be ready to open up and talk about, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, all your life experiences with your practitioner. So that's really the first part of a session is we're going to get to know each other. We're going to chat for a while. When we begin um, hypnosis. We do enter in through what I like to refer to as the gateway to the quantum realm, which is through um, a timeline regression, also known as a past life experience. Sometimes past lives don't come through though. It, uh, your subconscious mind really 100% is in the driver's seat for this type of a session. So it's going to bring forward whatever needs to come through for you. It, uh, it could be something in childhood where it very um, well can be a past life experience. 
From there, um, I guide you under hypnosis, we're still under hypnosis, to um, bring forward the subconscious mind, the deepest part of your subconscious. And that's why it's called quantum, you guys, because we're connecting to this part that's inside of every single one of us. Um, it is not bound by time. And over and over again, it will. It has told me that through the mind of my subcon, uh, through my client's subconscious mind, it'll say, "There's no time here. I don't understand your question. If I ask a time-related question, it'll tell me I'm speaking to you today from you know place beyond time. So it truly is quantum. It's not just a 2024 buzzword. <laughs> um, the subconscious mind though will come through and scan the body so from head to toe uh kelly josh it will look for trapped emotions trauma illness and it can get all the way down to a cellular level we can ask for it to detox the body anything um that is not functioning in perfect harmony in the body it will find and it will address and it can self-heal the body if it is time to do so at the time of the session and then uh, the last part of the session, because it is a quite a, a lengthy journey, but my favorite part, I think, is the questions and answers. Uh, we're all here seeking some sort of, you know, answer or, you know, wondering why we're here. I think it's the number one question that people come to me is, what is my life's purpose? Well, your subconscious higher self, it knows that. Uh, and if that is one of, you know, the questions on the list, it will give you information and will answer that. So. Clients, before the session begin, they will bring me a list of whatever it is that they want to know, and under hypnosis, I will get those answers for them. And everything's audio recorded, so you can listen back, and you can hear your higher self um, you know, giving you advice, answering all the questions, healing the body, you can go through the past life regression, and all of that. Mm -hmm. um sometimes you know i tell people you know t you know, make sure that you are prepared for a full day you know of healing and you know what i'm actually going to be doing is i want to separate myself you know a little bit from other practitioners i want to do something unique and different and so what I have found is that it's such a transformative process when we tap into the quantum field significant life changes happen. I mean, this is the place where all transformation really can occur. And so my goal is to have quantum success hypnosis, where I help people to achieve very specific goals that they have in life. It may not be monetary, it could be, you know, to improve a relationship, or to up level your career, whatever that is for you specifically, we can do that with the quantum hypnosis. I love that you're taking your own spin on this because uh, I was I was recently reading something by Dolores Cannon, and she said the that she sees the people that have taken her classes now doing things that she would have never imagined, and how beautiful mm. that process is, um, just to, to to witness that creation go on. So that's so awesome that you are, you know, following your heart and your passion and and really putting that into that. Um, you know, I, I want to say mm -hmm. that my, my experience with quantum healing, I, I, we were talking a little bit before about the, uh, the session I had in October, and, you know, it was such a deep, revelatory process for me. I, I personally, and it ended up turning into a soul retrieval for me, um, which was a, a huge wow. piece of work that I had really been wanting to work on for a long time. So thank you for what you do. I mean, that's a, it's a beautiful Thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, for sharing that experience and anything can truly come through. And that's the beauty about quantum hypnosis. You know, again, when we are aligning the subconscious mind with the quantum principles and hypnosis, we, we do have the ability to 100% transform our reality, um, to make such profound uh, life altering changes. And I just love that I'm able to, to help people with that. You know, I often think about the person I used to be sitting out front of my job that I hated crying every day. And I, I do it for the people who are in a similar position. I want to help them align with their with their mission and their purpose here in this world. That's, you know, there's no real higher calling than that, is there? <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it feels incredible to finally be able to to know why I'm here, what my purpose is, and to be able to live my purpose every day. And I would not be able to say that had I not, 
discovered quantum hypnosis and are not stumbled across a YouTube video, um, you know, my I would still be probably working in some career, you know, stressed out, you know, depressed. Maybe who knows? Maybe even drinking still, um, not aligned with my soul's purpose. I mean, I, I, that's how it works, though, isn't it? You know, the uh, the way the, the universal synchronicities just kind of guide us right towards our purpose. But, you know, being open and receptive to be able to actually have the courage to follow through with that is uh, just a huge part of that co-creation with spirit, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, transitioning from, you know, the corporate world, you know, again, I was a senior executive in the banking industry. Josh, it was real scary. Um I'll be the first to say I was scared myself, I was a little bit nervous, but my family really, um, I don't think that they necessarily trusted the process as much as I did either. A lot of, you know, people saying like, you're never going to make the type of money, you know, how are you going to support your family or you can't just up and quit and leave your job, but I did <laughs> and I'm still here. I, you know, I, I was really, I was scared, I'm not going to lie. I literally thought, oh my God, am I going to die? <laughs> Now looking back, I'm like, wow, you know, when we just trust our higher self, um, you know, that's when the miracles happen. And your higher self is your partner in this world. It's always there. It's always here guiding you. It's your intuition. It is one and the same. And so I followed my intuition, and I'm so thankful that I did. I'm happier now than I've than I've really truly ever have been. And, and look how many how many you know tortures you're helping light on the journey as well. I mean, that's just such a such a beautiful process to to be that person that can hold space you know for, for me you know when i was doing the quantum healing session you know as a, as a person with an overactive mind you know getting into that uh mm -hmm. flow state or that you know anything past 15 minutes for me was always just really a struggle and to have someone who was trained in the quantum healing hold space for me and just be able to hold me into that trance state and just kind of dig and dig and dig it was just uh just an amazing process and you know one that i'll always yeah. remember and i have the recording and this is a great reminder for me to go listen to that recording again because i told myself i was going to uh, you know mm. but and I'm so glad you actually said, you know, said both of those things. You know, number one, listening to the recording is so important. I still listen to my very first session recording because there's information now that is so applicable. It's like my higher self knew that, hey, this information isn't quite right yet, but in a couple of years it's going to be perfect and it's going to have a different meaning. And so I often will go back and listen to my recording and I'm like, oh my goodness, there's so much nuggets of information that, that still applies to this day. And uh, something else that you touched on was maybe sometimes people might be a little bit nervous about hypnosis because they don't know what to expect. But it truly is a gentle process and uh, everybody is actually in the state of mind already several times a day um if you've ever been watching tv and you're really involved maybe in this program and you can hear your spouse or significant other like hey josh like saying something to you in the background you're not really listening to them but you kind of are that is a hypnotic state right there because you are in like some level of trance also at night when you're drifting off going to bed you enter that same exact state of mind, which is the theta state. And again in the morning when we are waking up, we're also in that state of mind once again. So it's just um, a very natural state of mind and it's about just kind of relaxing. I always tell my clients, come as if you're gonna take a nap today. That's all you need to worry about is just as if you're gonna take a nap, I'll do the rest. <laughs> yeah, could, could you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the integration process after one of your healing sessions? Yes. So, you know, it's really important to I always tell my clients to be very gentle with yourself. Um, after a session, it is common that you, you're going to be integrating. A lot of information was, just, you know, likely just unearthed, um, whether it's due a past life regression or recalling something that maybe, you know, happened in childhood. Uh, lots of things can come up. So it's important to be very gentle with yourself. I suggest to not have anything planned for the rest of the day after your session. Uh, I also always recommend for my clients to ground themselves 
uh, whether in like a light meditation after if they are have the ability to do so or to even eat a very light and healthy snack to kind of ground yourself and help with the integration process. Um, it is important to listen to the recording within 24 to 48 hours because it does carry the quantum healing energy. So it really integrates all of that healing, all of the clearing, and everything that was done in, under hypnosis, when you listen to the session, it really just infuses and integrates all of that. And sometimes clients can have dreams because the gateway is open for 24 to 48 hours after a session. The gateway is open to that quantum realm with the subconscious mind. So very often clients will text me after, like, oh my goodness, I had the most interesting dream or like this came through it was for my session um but it was meant for me to receive in a dream or so lots of things can still continue to happen you know up to several days after a session did did you yeah, find it, that that was the case for you josh did you have anything come through for you oh absolutely you know it's, it's so funny because you know in that state you're kind of flirting with being there and not being there um mm. and over the next few months, some of the, you know, the, a bunch of the things I had said that were going to help me on my journey that, you know, I still had pieces of resistance to, which is why I went there in the first place. Um, you know, like the things I said during that, that, that process ended up showing up in my real life. Like, uh, you know, like for one, I, yeah. I said to unlock certain parts, I needed to spend more time with animals again. And to really, to, mm. I went there to actually open my heart back up. There was a process I went through in the last year that kind of armored my heart a little bit. And I knew that that was, you know, not conducive to what I was trying to be in the world and where I was trying to go. And I needed to open that heart back up and take that armor off. So, um, you know, you know, volunteering at an animal shelter, spending more time in nature. Um, you know, it, it was just, it, and it, the dreams as well, you know, like dreams about the process and the continued healing that goes on in the dreams based on what happened in that quantum healing session has also been a part of the process wow. the last few months. It's, uh, it's been, it's been really, really cool. Um, and I, I really developed a close mm -hmm. relationship with the practitioner as well as he's, a you know, another individual here and in, local to a, local to Wisconsin that I really resonate with and resonate with his mission. So big things are happening with quantum healing. I'm very, very much a uh, huge fan. And, and I tell anybody and everybody to get a quantum healing session. So did yeah. you have an offer that you I, wanted to make to people today? I do. Thank you for asking. Yes. Um, <laughs> To anyone who's interested in experiencing a session, I would love to extend a discount of 10% off. Um, just simply enter the name into the website, Spirit Sherpa, and it'll automatically um, calculate the discount for you on the website at checkout. Um, I do. I would also like to highlight that I do sessions both locally as well as online because I'm also trained in the online version of quantum hypnosis, which is BQH, and that stands for beyond quantum hypnosis. Um, the sessions online, believe it or not, I was really actually kind of taken aback by this at first. The sessions online are extremely powerful. Um, I had my doubts when I was originally going to get my online certification. I was like, is this going to work online? But to my surprise, <laughs> I have actually found the opposite of what I originally thought. The sessions, people relax so much deeper in the comfort of their home. So I find that my clients slip right into hypnosis um, a lot, you know, it's easy whether it's in person or if it's online, but something about with the online session, I think just the comfort of their home help, helps them. And some of the most incredible and profound sessions happen online, um, but I do offer both uh, BQH as well as QHHT. That, that is awesome. Yeah, and I, I had that same resistance to doing online, um, you know, energy work as well at first, but you know, you realize, uh, at some point that there's the only limitations are the ones in our mind and that there is no limitations in the quantum either. <laughs> yeah, no, there's definitely not. And, you know, when we talk about, you know, limitations and things, and it's true, the only limitations that there are, are the ones and the parameters that we set for ourselves. One thing that, you know, I'm really wanting to work with and help people is to realize, I mean, sure that, you know, your listeners, um, people who are listening right now, as well as yourself, have all heard the saying that all answers are within. And I really find that with quantum hypnosis, that that puts that to the test 100%. 
you know, all answers are within. But so many people um, seek external advice and external validation. We really don't, we don't need to. You know, the higher self can answer anything. It knows all. And, um, you know, one thing that happens sometimes with my clients, it's and it's kind of sad, I, you know, I go kind of sad when I see this or this happens, is they'll have the most amazing session. I'll be, like, so excited I'm, like when they're coming out and I'm, like, ready to recap. I'm like, holy heck, this was such a profound session. And they're like, well, you know, I think I'm going to go see a psychic and I'm going to ask the psychic about this. And I just kind of, like, just, there's something there. I'm like, why is it that people would, would, you know, want to go and get that validated? Like, your higher self just spoke to you. It's on a recording. And so that's one thing that I'm really wanting to work pe with people on is helping them to, to have that self-trust, right? Because there's something there, um, you know, whether it's society or programming where people have a hard time trusting themselves, even when they can see and hear themselves on a recording and they know the information that just came through. And so that's something that, you know, I'm going to be working on with people. Yeah, you know, developing that lack of trust in yourself and your intuition, it's so, so key. Um, I, I remember it very early on in my journey, uh, also going to multiple practitioners at the same time because I was still, you know, very much in kind of that damsel in distress, you know, mode, like, oh, my God, the next person's going to heal me, you know. And uh, when, when uh, finally it's just like you said, you know, when you can really tune in and really trust that voice that's coming yeah. through. And that's what's so beautiful about what you do is you're tapping people right into that quantum and right into that higher self. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's such a beautiful place to trust from. Um, and, you know, going, mm -hmm. going that deep, it's, there's not many modalities um, that I've, I've studied that really take someone that deep and that quick and, and, and in such a caring and yeah. loving way. Um, the, you know, the, the process is just so beautifully held by its practitioners. And I, I have a lot of friends mm -hmm. in the quantum healing community and they're just, just such beautiful souls. And I, I, I mean that, and I, mm -hmm. I hold them to the high, very high regard with the, the way they, they, they treat everybody around them and the, the place of non-judgment. You were talking a little bit about it earlier, you know, but that place of just non-judgment. You don't judge the past lives. You don't judge any of you. Just, you're there to hold space and just really walk them through that deep level healing process. And, you yeah. know, it's just, it's, uh, it's really cool. And that's exactly why I wanted to choose this specific line of work, Joshua, because it's very different. This is not like anything for myself. There's nothing that I've ever experienced as profound and life-altering as quantum hypnosis. I am convinced that it is the deepest, most life-altering work that, that a person can do, which is why I specifically chose it. And I like to also say, I don't consider myself a healer. I'm actually, I'm not a healer. <laughs> I, I am just a person who has um, highly effective techniques and tools and can leverage those tools and techniques to help you. And with quantum hypnosis, you are actually are self-healing. So as a practitioner, I'm on the sidelines helping you to connect with the deepest part of your subconscious that truly is residing in that quantum realm so that it can come through scan your body, heal your body, answer your questions. And so I'm just the person who's, who wants to help others. Um, yeah, um, I don't really consider myself a healer, so. It, it's so funny you, know, you so, say Some like practitioners that, but... would say otherwise, so that, that's kind of my, my, my stance on it. <laughs> It, it's it's so, it's so funny you say that. I, you know when I when I do the work too, I just view myself as a conduit. I generally keep my hand in the air mm -hmm. just to remind myself that I am no more than a conduit for something bigger than myself. And that bigger than myself is just being a part of the whole, and uh, just being able to to tap into that. You the way you speak, it, it's you are a true student of of Dolores Cannon. <laughs> so um, thank you. That means a lot. She's come through in a lot of my sessions. I get so excited. Um, as, and I know that it's her because last, especially last time she came through there, my client's like, there's this lady here. She didn't even know who Dolores was. She's like, there's a lady here. She says her name's D D Del Dolores. <laughs> and I was like, oh yes, she can come through if you would like her to. <laughs> and she came yeah. through and she's, you know, talking through my clients. Sometimes, very, sometimes that will happen. Um, where you know I'll get a short little message from from Dolores, and I, it's always exciting when that happens. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, she has that such a you know grandmotherly vibe about her. You know, I, I just uh, I love watching her videos. Love watching her speak about the process. Love watching her. You know, just the way she interacts with everybody. She's just, uh, you know, uh, you know, just a beautiful woman. Yeah, and that was the reason actually why I stopped scrolling on on the YouTube that day. I was like, who is this lady? Because she looks like she should be knitting a blanket or baking cookies for her grandchildren. But you no, know, she's talking about past lives in Atlantis and how her clients experience lives as extraterrestrials and they board spaceships and all of these amazing things and she's talking about how bones crack as the subconscious mind is you know realigning bones in the body and people walk away and they can see and their eyesight is better and I was just like no way this is the coolest thing ever and I went down that rabbit hole and well here I am now <laughs> yeah she's a true case of don't judge a book by its cover <laughs> Absolutely, for sure. Oh, well. And I love, you know, talking about sessions and all of the amazing and unique things that can happen. It's why, um, one of the actual reasons why I started my podcast, and it's what inspired the name of my podcast, The Soul Traveler, is because we go to some really interesting places under hypnosis. To people who are listening um, to the show, like, your subconscious mind my goodness, <laughs> there's a lot of information inside that uh, that would probably surprise you. It had you, you know, if you go for a session and you listen back on your recording, you're going to be amazed at the information that comes through. Our souls have lived so many lifetimes, and all of the information and the lessons they're there, just you know, waiting to be unearthed and remembered. That is a that is a just. You know, it, sometimes you can't put words to what we do. Um, it's it's just such an honor to take part in that process. I'm uh, so mm -hmm. happy you came on here today and uh, shared your share your experience with us. Uh, we lost Kelly halfway through this uh, little chat, so we're. I, I think. Do you have any final thing you want to tell the people today? Thank you for giving me the opportunity to come on the show. And yes, we did lose Kelly a little bit about halfway through um, one of the joys of technology. <laughs> but I'm glad that we were able to you know, still have an amazing discussion. And I am really excited for your listeners to learn about quantum hypnosis. Uh, feel free to visit me online. My website is jenmitchell.com. Also would like to say that I have plans to launch a digital course because, you know, as we were talking earlier when Kelly was on, the sessions can be quite lengthy. And so I really sat back and I wanted to reposition the, the work that I do and I want to be different. It's why I'm doing the quantum success hypnosis because I want people to be able to align in the quantum realm with whatever mission that their soul is on, whatever the reason or the purpose is that they're here on this earth. And so I'm going to be launching a digital course where people will have the opportunity to download the session experience and they'll be able to do the session on their own time and they can have multiple sessions with the course because they'll be able to download it. So that'll be coming soon. And, and again, happy to extend a discount to listeners of the podcast. They just need to enter Spirit Sherpa in as the promotion code and it will discount that. And if anybody wants to tune into my show as well to hear about some interesting stories about quantum hypnosis, uh, my podcast is The Soul Traveler. Thank you so much. And that Spirit Chirp is going to be all in caps letters. And, you know, book book a session today. If you're looking to really do some deep digging, maybe you're feeling stuck in life, this is why we go to people like Jen. This is why I personally go to people like Jen. We reach out. Um, so uh, that's all we have time for here, folks. Um, you have been listening to Spirit Sherpa. So long. Bye for now. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah. I don't know how it stops. <laughs> but oh, you know the, the editors I will take Kelly care of this part. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll edit it and work all of their magic. So <laughs> I think awesome. that because yeah. Kelly has the... Uh, yeah, she, since she pushed record and everything. Um, if for any reason, if the recording needs to be redone, 
don't hesitate to reach back out. I understand, obviously, as a podcaster myself, that things can happen, and we lost Kelly halfway through the show. So my schedule is pretty open, actually, because I'm taking some time off to, <laughs> to finish some few things on the back end. Um, so I've got some time. If you guys need to re-record for any reason, just just let me know. I'm happy to do awesome. the show again. Thank you so me. much. You you understand how it goes with uh, technology. You, I just want to say it's been a pleasure pleasure listening to you. I, I'm going to check out your yeah. podcast a little bit now. Uh, it sounds like you really got some Thank big things you. going on. Uh, so so happy you came on today, and uh, you know keep keep doing what you're doing and keep evolving that. I just I love when I hear people taking that you know, what they've learned from their teachers and then evolving it because that's that yeah. there's so much power in that authenticity and creation and co-creation process. So it's, a, it's really been an honor to sit in here with you today. Thanks, Joshua. And it has been an amazing opportunity meeting you and I'm so thankful and I'll, I'll text Kelly. I'll shoot her a text. <laughs> uh, yeah. She's in my, uh, actually in my mastermind for the Soul Traveler, which, uh, yeah. Um, so I'll connect with her. And uh, I'll look forward to the release of the show or any updates that you guys have. So thank you for your All right. time. And All right. lovely thank connecting you, today. Hi, you too. All have right. Bye day. for now. Bye. You as well. Bye.